Now we're gonna get into toxic overload. What is toxic overload? This sounds kind of funny. This almost sounds made up, right? Mm, is this right? Is this a... Yeah, this is something I see a lot of. Now I did that other video where I talked about how your body detoxes. And what happens though if your body does not detox well? What happens if you have something getting in the way of one of those pathways, the water soluble or fat soluble pathway? What happens if you've been nutrient depleted so your body can't have that process happen? What happens if your gut does not work properly, so you're not actually having those hormones exit the body, so they get built up in your system, that's what we call toxic overload. Now this can occur naturally, again, if your system has a hard time processing things out, it doesn't detox properly, it doesn't methylate properly, you have tendencies to be inflamed, it's really easy then for your system to have a toxic overload. What does this look like? This can look like fatigue, it can look like skin issues, it can look like more gut issues, right? And it can also look like a lot of weight gain because our fat cells are very dynamic. Our fat cells are actually supposed to be flatter like a pancake, but they will get bigger and they will store all of this other stuff in it because they are dynamic. Now, the other thing that happens when our fat cells get to be enlarged and they store more in them is that they become more estrogenic. That means if you have hormone issues to begin with, and that's part of the toxic overload that your system is having a hard time processing, that enlargement of the fat cells then produces more estrogen and creates more of the problem. Can it not? <laughs> but that is what happens a lot of the time. And again, remembering that this is not something that you just, oh yeah, I, I just did this because, you know, I wasn't eating clean enough or whatever. No, there's usually many complex things that go into having a toxic overload with your system. Your system is fatigued. It hasn't gotten enough nutrient. You've had some hormonal issues. Um, I can't tell you the number of women I work with that have had, you know, major stressors in their life, major stressors in their life. And it just happens to coincide around the time that something changes with your health, right? I had a gal who, um, this was just very, very recently, she had gotten sick. And then she got in a car accident, right? So she had an illness, she had an injury, and then she ended up, um, they didn't fire her, but they were like, well, we're downsizing this location and you have to move all the way across the country if you want to maintain your job position. And she was like, I don't wanna start over. I don't wanna start at the bottom. I've worked my way up in the company. I am like five years from retiring. So she's like, ugh okay, I guess I will move across the country for five years just so I don't lose all the benefits that I have built up within this company. And she's like, I'm not that far from retiring. I don't want to quit. I don't want to start over somewhere else. So she moved. Some of the major, major stressors in people's lives all happened around this same time. And it's like her whole system just, right? She gained 30 pounds within a few months and just was not able to take it off. And again, it's not that she wasn't trying, she was trying, she was doing all these things that normally would have kept her weight at a good maintenance level, wasn't budging. And a big piece of it was because of the toxic overload in her system. So we have to go through, get your system functioning better, deal with this, and then your body can actually tap into these fat cells and use them for energy. Otherwise, when, they're, when your fat cells are holding a lot of toxic garbage in them, your body's not gonna wanna tap into it and use it for energy. It's easier and more convenient for your system to use muscle tissue for energy. But we wanna maintain our muscle tissue. Muscle tissue is so important for in your immune system, your metabolism, everything, not just strength. So it's really important that you understand exactly what is going on with your body. Right, we do this hormone testing right in the female hormone solution program we make sure that we understand what's happening in your system and what pathways need to be opened and that your system does not get to be overloaded like this it can take a little bit of a process to undo this kind of damage but it's incredible what can happen when your system starts to function a lot better so that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Of course, you can always send me a message if you, um, you know, aren't comfortable commenting below this video, but otherwise get on the wait list. You do not want to miss out on this female hormone solution program because we cover all this information for you, guide you through this and make sure that your body is functioning better. So you feel better and you get to keep the positive results that you've worked so hard for. So have a great rest of your day and I will see you later.